This podcast is produced by the Harwood Productions Podcast Network. To learn more about the network and to find more of our shows, visit us online at www.harwoodpodcast.com. I'm Cindy Harris. Welcome to Easy Entertaining. Ever thought about having a wine and cheese party? Well, I had my first one a few years ago and it was a big hit. Let me show you an easy way to put one together. My first strategy was to try to find things that I could get at just about any grocery store. Then I got a couple of dark cutting boards and some of these little stainless steel markers so that you could put the names of the cheeses on your cheese so people know what they're eating. And then the other thing you have to find are some cheese knives. Many times you can buy them in a set. Now that we've got the gear ready, let's get the things we're going to put our cheeses on together. I like to slice up some baguette, soft cheeses taste great on that, and then get a cracker assortment, some wheat crackers, definitely some water crackers, cheeses taste great on those. Okay, let me show you how I put mine together. Start with your two cutting boards and put them end to end. Then I like to get a little height in the middle of the board, so I take just a drinking glass and I get some nice thin bread sticks and I put those right in the middle. So let me show you some of the cheeses I like to use. This first one is called Cotswold and it is an orange cheese that has chives and onion in it. It's really, really good. So then I just take my marker and I write Cotswold on the little stainless steel marker and I put it right in the block of cheese. This next cheese is a Norwegian cheese called Jarlsberg and it does have a rind on the bottom but I like to keep the rind on the, the end. I think it looks really cool. So just go ahead and cut that bottom rind off. That way no one gets a piece of that. That wouldn't taste very good. And then just make a marker for it and put it right on your board. This next cheese is like a triple cream blue or a cambazola cheese and it is really good and delicious spread either on a baguette or on one of the breadsticks. My next cheese is a smoked gouda. Now it also has a rind but it's the kind of rind that you can eat and many people identify this cheese by its rind. And the last cheese I'm going to use on this board is a brie. It's very delicious, wonderful spread on any of the crackers, breadsticks, or a baguette. So now let's start filling in the spaces. I like to start with the baguette, and I like to put um, these things in like three different areas on the board. And you'll notice I don't keep things right on the board. I let them spill over. I think that looks really kind of nice. Then start placing your crackers. Again, move them around the board. Just put a clump of them. Let them spill over if they want to. It just makes it look a little more natural. I like to put some grapes on the board. Um, these came in a package with red and green and black grapes, which was great. But otherwise, I would just choose one color grape. It doesn't really matter. Cut them into bunches and just move them around the board as well. So things are looking pretty balanced on the board. So now I'm going to add some dried fruits. So the first one I'm going to add is some handfuls of some dried apricots. Thank you. 
And then I'm gonna put on some handfuls of some dried cherries, and these are some of those tart cherries. They're really good. And then the last thing I'm going to add are some cashews. Doesn't this look great? Now the last thing I like to do before my guests come is I like to take the little cheese knives and I like to do a little slice out of each cheese. And then that way people aren't afraid to go ahead and start eating. Now for this cheese board, I chose five cheeses. If I were gonna have a smaller party, I could choose just three. I could even choose just one. Um, if I were gonna be having a bigger party, I would still stick with five cheeses, but I might get bigger pieces of them. Now when choosing your wines, I always like to have a red and a white wine for sure. And then sometimes it's fun to have a sparkling wine. You can also go to one of our other podcasts, The Humble Bottle, and you get some good suggestions for some reasonably priced wines there. Having a wine and cheese party is really pretty easy to put together. And it's great for just having cocktails or a light dinner, or sometimes you can have it for a bridal shower or a birthday party. Give it a try. I think you'll have fun with it. on this episode, go to our website and visit the easy entertaining show notes. Also, if you have any questions or ideas for us, send us an email. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.